People, people, how are you guys doing? This is your buddy Nick with Big Bear Weather and More. It's January 3rd, 2023. I just wanted to show you guys what's going on in town. Um, it's still kind of like, in, we're still in the midst of this little onslaught of storms we've had this last week. Uh, none of them have been significant. Last night, they, they said that this last night one could drop three to five inches and you see um, I think it was like minus one inch of snow. But once again, it's par for the course up here. Um, our forecasters do the best they can. They really do. I know it really pisses people off and makes us really frustrated, but um, especially for those of you who spend a lot of time to drive up here. And then you get up here and you're like, what the heck? I could have gone to Magic Mountain if I wanted to see this. So. Yeah, unfortunately, there's hardly any snow left, but um, tomorrow they say we could get three to five inches of snow. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Something good's going to happen out of this. I heard good news from the resorts that they're extending some, some sort of a... Uh, I don't know if it's like a special deal or something skiing and snowboarding right now, but it's being extended for one more week and the night skiing and night snowboarding being extended for one more week. Um, so I think that's a good thing, whatever it is, whatever it is to get you guys up here to enjoy your sales. And I'm sure if, if you guys really wanted to build snowmen, there's still plenty of snow to do that. I just don't know how good the snow is for them. It's super wet. It is super slushy snow. Um, you could make deadly snowballs because the snow is so wet. I mean, those snowballs would hurt. That's not the point of snowballs, though. Snowballs, we're trying to have fun. Um, yeah, yeah. As I said, January 3rd, 2023. We do have one more little part of this series of storms coming through tomorrow. Oh wait, is it tomorrow? Maybe not tomorrow. No, Thursday. And then I believe today, later on, we have a chance for some snow showers. It says that it's snowing right now outside, according to my information. According to my, oh my gosh, and it says in the next 48 hours, up to six inches. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's great. That's great, you guys. Let's, let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep our fingers crossed. That would be terrific. So tomorrow night, it looks like we could get one to three inches of snow. Thursday, it looks like we could get five to eight inches during the day. And then in the evening time on Thursday night, less than an inch. But the crazy thing is, is that in like a week from then, we got another series of storms coming through. So this is very impactful for our lake. I'm very, very grateful for this, um, even though it's not that much precipitation. You guys, this town desperately needs it. And I'm telling you what, when that lake is full, this place is so freaking beautiful. It really is. It's so beautiful. The attitudes are different up here. Um, yeah, like even I'm not such a tool. And I, I've, I've got that capability to be a tool. <laughs> and not a good one, not like a screwdriver or like a wrench. But I think I'm more like a sawzall type of a tool. Um, no, no, I think I'm one of those weird screwdrivers that you use for the ring doorbell. You know how it's, it's just really odd looking. And that's the kind of tool I am. <laughs> and if you guys ever wonder why my like lips poked out, it's because I use these freaking nicotine things called Zin. They're nicotine pouches and I just pop them in and enjoy myself. Wow, that place, Magic Mountain, is packed right there, guys. Packity pack, don't talk back. 
<coughs> take out the papers and the trash. I did see something sad though at the gas station. Just a trash everywhere, full trash bags. Um, I gotta tell you, you know, like, I understand it's a pain in the butt to have to go throw the stuff away at our trash dumps because there's huge lines when there's tourism up here. Huge lines, and it takes forever. But guys, please do that, please, please. Or take your trash with you and, and uh, find a dump down the hill. Remember, this is a very special place for all of us, you guys, myself. Um, this place is no more mine than it is yours. It's, it's, this is your home too. This is your vacation home. And we just want to make sure that we can do the best we can to not just dump the trash outside. When I was younger, I never did that up here. I never did that up here, but I'll, I'll never forget my friends and I, we, we had like the whole truck bed full of trash and just dumped it on the side of the road. And I still feel horrible about it. I still feel guilty about it. Um, I, sh I should find myself for that. We were 18 years old, but 18 year olds are smart enough, at least, to not do stupid things like that. So just guys treat mother earth and especially this area with as much love and respect as possible. We cannot have it, have it look like how a lot of the bottom of the mountains looking just garbage everywhere and tents everywhere and this and that we want it to stay as pristine as possible up here and we need your help for that we really need your help for that as i said trust me i know it's a pain in the butt and this is for instance one of the trash sites right here on the right hand side this this building right there no lines right now but you can see all these trash dumps right there boom 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 that's one of two in town, or maybe there's three, but I've only been to two of them. Just knock those things out real quick, and uh, as I said, just uh, show a little pride in your vacation town, because as I said, this is everyone's vacation town in, in Southern California. Remember, none of us live here if it wasn't for you tourists coming up here, creating jobs. None of us. Maybe some super, super extra wealthy people who don't have to work anymore. But if we didn't have jobs up here um, and it was harder to get to, it would be more expensive because having your food and your clothing and your, your water and this and that would be a lot more money. So that's why I say only, only very wealthy people, like I'm going to be someday, will get to live here. <coughs> So I cherish you guys so much. You guys given me that opportunity to live here and I don't have to deal with living down the mountain anymore. I'm from Newport Beach, you guys. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love it. But in the eight years that I've lived here, so much has changed down the mountain. So much has changed. And uh, I'm just not as thrilled about down there as I used to be. But we're gonna stop here for a second and grab a hot cocoa. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. We came back out, the hot chocolate machine was down. It was down, like a clown. Oh, why do they have Boulder Bay Park parking lot closed? That's, that's weird. What is going on up here? What is going on up here, my friend? We're going around the lake, my friend. Okay, let's see here. Let me contact. Oh no, that's just my credit card account saying, pay me, Seymour. So we're gonna do a drive around the Lakeity Lake. So we are entering the part of town that gets the most snow, you guys, for, for the valley part of town. You're always gonna get more snow when you're up, up against the mountains here to the left. It's just how it works. I'm really surprised that this traffic isn't as killer as I anticipated it to be. The closer we get here to the dam, it might not be so much fun, but um, it's okay. It's okay, man. Yeah, so with my COVID, 
I can taste food again. Super happy about that. I've never taken my taste buds for granted before until I got COVID and realized how much I take them for granted. It's really making me want to try other foods that I haven't tried in my lifetime. As a kid, because my parents uh, are world travelers and so that they would take all of us kids every year somewhere internationally. Europe was our favorite location. I've been to Russia. I've I've been every most continents, not Antarctica. I think that's the only continent I've never been to. I've ever been to. Um, but as a kid, I was super super fortunate like that. Um, and I tried so much, so many different cultural cuisines from all over the world and um, from what my mom tells me I was really really good about it really enjoyed it all so that's awesome and I want to start eating more foreign foods and just enjoying it I'm still kind of freaked out to eat like like live animals like on your plate and stuff like that or stuff like that but you know I just uh as I said I've I took I never realized that I had taken my taste buds so for granted and I don't want to ever do that anymore <coughs> yeah this is great you guys this is great traffic is moving so on the traffic part of my maps, it shows that it's like really backed up right now. So I'm glad we decided to come take this risk and go through the traffic anyway, or the supposed traffic. So you guys can see it's it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all, 39 degrees. Let me get Apple CarPlay on here and put the map. Oh, there's the map right there, perfect. So that's where we're at, that little blue arrow on the left of the lake. seat heaters it's so cool how it's all digital boop, boop, boop. I got air conditioned seats as well okay so we are coming up to the dam right now and we're just gonna turn right on highway 38 and go into fawn skin come back around that direction just want you guys to be able to see with your own eyes what is going on here it's not bad at all I don't know what it's like driving up the mountain it's looking mighty easy coming into town here on the little Arctic Circle you guys so that's that's fantastic I'm super happy for you guys I don't want you guys to get stuck in traffic like it was yesterday that was horrible my wife drove up Highway 38 yesterday because she she had to go down. She went down this way and said that the traffic was literally bumper to bumper from all the way down at the bottom coming into town. That's miserable. All right, here we go. Highway 38. such a cool crew of people who work at that Boulder Bay market you guys such a cool crew of people there we go here's a beautiful view of the lake you guys wow look at that look at that If you guys want a beautiful ride into town, I would turn left at the Big Bear Dam anyway and come this direction. And then the first 
street that you can cut across the lake is called Stanfield Cutoff. Believe it or not, many, many years ago, cars were driving from the other side of the lake here to just to right here because the lake was so low. I'm really glad that we're not in that type of a drought, but we're still in a serious, serious drought. I don't know exactly how much, but I think we're close to like 20 feet down, 20 feet below normal. I took some, some of that stuff called Kratom today and I'm feeling great. It's like, uh, I've been really depressed lately and for some reason it helped me out. It's, it's given me some nice energy and it's an over-the-counter product. It's called Kratom, K-R-A-T-O-M. I've heard about it for a while, didn't really take it much and, um, because I've always been a, a believer. If it's not a prescription from a doctor, it's probably not not going to be as efficient. But that's not 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 the best thinking. <coughs> Pardon me. So yeah, there's just hardly any snow over here. I'm telling you, I would love one of these houses right here on the lake. If any of you ever wanted to invest in a lakefront property up here, but are worried because you're not going to be here often and, you know, I would gladly move in and pay rent for sure and take care of the place. I'd be contractually obligated however someone wants. Um, because I really want to have a, a, a you know, an, an awesome life. And I think living on the lake up here, that would be phenomenal. That would be so, so beautiful. I don't have really any, any friends up here. So I've, I think the, in the eight years that I've lived here, I've had two guests over out at my house and that's it. That's it. And it was for UFC fights. I'm a very introverted person. I know it might not seem like it from these videos, but I truly am. I'm telling you, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And look at all the brown spots. Jeez Louise. And this is a part of town that gets hit pretty good with snow as well. But obviously there's a lot more direct sunlight over here where you see all this brown. Coming up to one of my favorite views of the lake, right around this bend. As soon as we start to turn left, I aim the camera towards the lake. This house I want so badly. I, 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 I want to live here so badly. That, that guy is stoked. So stoked. Look at that view. Right on this like corner of the inlet right there. Now we are entering the eagle habitat. I'm sure there's a lot of people over here. Hopefully people are very, very careful. There's a bunch of people sledding on the hillside. A bunch of people sledding on the hillside. Oh, it's such a beautiful area. <clears throat> we just got to be careful we don't bug the the eagles sanctuary that's all the first few years up here i would refer that place right there for everyone to go sledding and i didn't realize that it was 
like off limits for, for the whole eagle situation. I had no idea. And I felt really, really bad because a lot of people gave me a lot of crap, especially a lot of super environmental people. They really got on my case about it. And it's not like I was trying to hurt anybody or hurt anything. But once I learned, I've stopped referring people to that area, even though it's freaking perfect for sledding and beautiful. Not much direct sunlight on that part of the hill. So it's just awesome because the snow stays longer. And if you guys, there's a horror movie called Jack Frost, I think from like the 80s or something. This whole part of town is in, in the movie in huge parts, this building especially, and this building. It's crazy. I was watching it this last Halloween time and um, all of a sudden, that building pops up and I'm like, gosh, that looks so familiar. And within like two seconds, I was like, oh my God, that's fawn skin. Oh my God, oh my God. I was so excited. So how is everybody doing? How's everyone's new year so far? You guys doing good? You guys having a, a good start to the new year? You guys happy out there? What's going on? I love hearing from you guys. I love getting the comments. It makes me feel good. That people want to share what's going on in their lives with me. Because I certainly divulge my life on to you guys. be a place to go sledding but it's private property so no trespassing my bad my bad it's just tough you know like so many of the little spots that you'd be like oh wow that's perfect for sledding we're not going to be bothering anybody blah 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 then you see no trespassing signs private property <laughs> just not not fun it's hard to find any spots of, up here for free you guys it really is when there's a lot of snow, there's definitely good, good spots to go. But I always suggest just, just cruise through town, just drive through the neighborhoods. And if you see a spot that looks promising, just do extra due diligence and make sure there aren't any no trespassing signs and then have fun. We need y'all to come back, you hear? shocked how we didn't hit any traffic you guys none
since there was no traffic, do you want me to come back? Let me know. And it was so nice to see all of you guys today. I love going in there. You guys are such good people. Temperature is still 38 degrees. Yeah, so let me just show you guys something on my weather app. First, first we'll get this beautiful view. My gosh, it's so clear across the lake. You can see so well. It's so, so beautiful. I love that. Okay, so this is what we got going on here. We still have some more snow supposed to fall today. So once that starts happening, I'll go do another video later for sure. I just haven't been doing as many as I usually do, but I'm getting the pertinent information in. Then we'll scroll across here a little bit so you guys can see. There's, oh wait, it's just showed, like, oh, there we go. That's towards the end right here. Three straight days of weather again in about a week. So I just really hope that it does pan out. Let me see how much snow it, it's saying. So on Saturday night, uh, what's the date on that Saturday night? Not this coming Saturday, but the following Saturday, three to five inches, and then Sunday, about an inch total. So maybe like six inches total out of those three days, if it pans out the way that I hope it does. Wow, there's so little snow over here. You guys, this is amazing. Like, we should have a couple feet on the ground. So I think we will take Stanfield. Or actually, no, we're gonna go to Division. So this is where the lake ends. This is the very end of the lake here on the right, when you turn right here. On Stanfield Cutoff. We're gonna go to Division Road though. Okay. This is exactly where I crashed, I'll show you. I wasn't paying attention, and someone was stopped right here to turn left in there, and I ran right into them right here, boom! Right there, right at that spot. First time I've ever been in a car accident, and I felt so ridiculous because it was my fault. Um, thank goodness she was okay. Thank goodness she was okay. Boy, did I feel like an idiot. Look 
at all the dry areas over here. Amazing. Amazing. But the closer you get to those mountains over there, you guys, over here to the right, there's a, a good amount of snow for you guys to still have fun, I promise you. So get your buns up here and enjoy yourselves. Okay, we're on Division Road. The airport's to the left. That is our Aeropuerta. And then when we get good storms, this whole area will be filled with water. So we're coming up to Big Bear Boulevard. We're gonna take one of the back streets for a couple minutes and then come back around. Perfect. can't answer my friend at the moment. Sorry, Casey, brother. That is a friend of mine from when we were uh, children in Newport Beach. His dad was coach of lots of our sport teams. And I'm very, 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 very fortunate that we've stayed in touch with each other over the years what a good man what a good man Casey is maybe we'll, we'll see one of my buddies sitting out not sitting outside but just outside he's always working on his car even if it's snowing and blizzard conditions outside or just cold like it is now if he is we'll stop and introduce him to you guys is he out here nope not today well oh well I thought I saw him in his window right there. I know you shouldn't be looking in people's windows like that, but he, he's my friend and he always tells me to just say hello or honk if I see him. So that's what I wanted to do, but I didn't, I didn't see him. Okay. So we're gonna take the back roads back into town. So this is Big Bear City. This is basically the the neighborhoods closest to the Big Bear Lake side of town in Big Bear City, if that makes any sense. I know I don't make sense half the time. Um, according to the forecast, it looks like we could start getting a little bit of snow again shortly here. Let me just check it out. It's not going to be anything that accumulates. Oh, you know what? I don't get the best service right here. For those of you who have wondered, Verizon is definitely by far the best service up here. You still have some spots where it's not that great, like here. And as we turn left on Division Road, it's not, it gets a little bit worse for about a, a couple minutes. But other than that, Verizon is amazing. All through Moonridge, you're good. Through most of Fawnskin, you're good. Most of Big Bear City, except for like this part, you're good. Um, when I moved up here, I had AT&T, which I had since cell phones first really came out. I had never switched. It was always AT&T. And right when you pass the Best Western Hotel on Moonridge Road, you would lose phone service. I, like, it would get so bad, it, it would say no service. 
And fortunately, I don't experience that with Verizon at all up here. I was never a big fan of Verizon, but when I needed to have phone coverage, I did what I had to do. Okay, so the closer we get towards my house going this direction, we'll see more snow for sure. More, more all around coverage. Gosh, I can't believe I've been doing these videos for eight years. This is crazy. <laughs> talk about obsessive compulsive and the fact that I never ask people to subscribe or anything like that like uh, I'm surprised I have this many subscribers to be honest I'm like at 13 and a half thousand it's crazy like holy moly how did that happen okay we're on Fox Farm Road and Fox Farm turns into I think like cougar right here oh my gosh i always forget let me when we get up to this next street i'm gonna look at the street sign and see what it says i am keeping my eyes on the road car Jeez, always giving me crap mcallister so we're on mcallister like kevin mcallister home alone here's one of my favorite houses in all of big bear it's just both of them right next door to each other are just beautiful just beautiful It's interesting how you'll have a tiny little shack like my house and then right across the street there will be just monstrosities, beautiful monstrosities. I love them. These snowplow guys this time of year make so much money. So much money. It takes them like five minutes to do a decent sized driveway. And then they can charge a lot of money for it. I wish I had one of those that we could drive around in for, for one of the storms. Can't imagine how long it would take us to get through the whole town. Human ingenuity is amazing to me. It's really amazing to me. All the engineering marvels, like dams and stuff like that, like, and just heavy equipment. We are one smart people. just used a curse word at the guy behind me he's got a big old plow on the front of his truck I wonder what he's compensating for I'm sure I know the guy's got a tiny member <laughs> of gold that, that that movie gold member yeah I'm uh, geez geez Nick geez Nick all right, so here we are at the beginning of the roundabouts, the new roundabouts, which are just so awesome. Hope you can see, sense the sarcasm in my voice. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for us today, or right now. 
Happy New Year again, January 3rd, 2023. And I really, really am looking forward to a really good next couple days of snow. You guys take care of yourselves and I will chat with you all later. TTFN.